Aside from the fact that both my mother and myself almost died during my birth, and they wonder why women don't want to have children, I was a normal child. I did not get to experience normalcy for very long, however, because everything went wrong the day of my christening. This was a tradition in the royal family. The christening was a chance for the kingdom to celebrate the birth of a prince or princess, and for the royal family to come together as one. Essentially, it was a family reunion with the entire kingdom watching, so no pressure. Family reunions are always bound to go south, even when it isn't such a high-stakes event, and this one was no exception. You see, my father had one responsibility, to put together the guest list, and he managed to omit the most important person he could possibly choose. I can only wonder how that conversation went over, later, if my father tried to blame my mother for leaving him with too much responsibility. He often tried that, putting the blame on my mother for his incompetence, and it was never fair of him to do that, but especially in this case. She had nearly bled to death during childbirth, and was still pale and shaky several weeks later when the planning for the christening was underway. There was no way she could be held re responsible for planning the guest list. Yet, if I knew my father at all, he would claim it wasn't a man's job to do such a task. And if only my mother had done it, we wouldn't be in this situation at all. Perhaps he's right about that. But even if he's right, that doesn't mean it's fair. He forgot his sister. Sibling relationships are always complicated, I have heard, making me glad that I don't have any siblings myself. There was no way my parents would risk having another child after the danger my mother had been in. And after what happened at my christening, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. However, their sibling relationship was more tumultuous than most because his sister, Malfia, was the oldest child. When she was 15 years old, my father was born, and on that day, she lost her claim to the throne, the throne she had been training to ascend to for her entire life. 15 years of training thrown away just because she was the wrong gender. Because of this, she harbored an immense amount of spite for my father. It wasn't his fault, but it wasn't her fault either. Pushed aside for a newborn baby boy, she watched him get all of the attention she had once received, and she watched her hard work be swept away overnight. Things were not peaceful between them. During the years while my father was being trained to ascend to the throne, Malfia disappeared from the public eye, and no one knew what she got up to during those long years. It would only come to the surface later, the darkness to which she had descended. Still, I cannot say that I blame her. I did not deserve what was coming to me, but neither did she. My father remained oblivious to her feelings, just as he has remained to my own. I think it's just his character. But that is not an excuse for how he treated his sister. And now that my father was a father, he had forgotten to invite Malthea to the christening. Thank you for listening. I hope that you check out um, Mirror Mirror, and I'm really excited to read the rest of the stories in it as well. Bye.